Video editing is extremely important when it comes to the success of your channel, which is why I actually invested in a full-time professional video editor two years ago. However, that's not how I started. Like most creators, I started out with a free video editing software, which is exactly what I'll be walking you through in today's video. Most people looking for free video editors end up downloading software that either puts a massive watermark on their video or limits them to five minute exports. And I can tell you, that's not what you want. Instead, what you need is professional editing software that lets you create videos just like the big creators, but without spending hundreds of dollars. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you today. Starting off at number five, we've got OpenShot. And trust me, if you're just getting started with video editing, this is gonna be perfect for you. Most free video editors are either extremely complicated or they're so basic that you can't even add a simple transition. OpenShot actually solved this problem. It's super beginner friendly, but it still gives you all the features you need to create professional looking videos. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, you get unlimited layers. Imagine you're making a video where you want to add your face cam, some background music, maybe some text animations, and then some B-roll footage on top. With other free editors, you'd be limited to like two or three layers, but with OpenShot, you can stack as many as you want. Let's say I add in my video footage and my screen recording on top. With other editing softwares, I would already not be able to add any music or sound effects, which is actually responsible for a 19% increase in my watch time. But with OpenShot, I can head over to Epidemic Sound, pick a track that fits the topic, and add any sound effects my video might need. And they've actually included 3D animations and transitions that you typically only find in paid software. I'm talking about those smooth animations that make your videos look super professional. The interface is also really clean and intuitive. Everything is exactly where you'd expect it to be. You've got your timeline at the bottom, your preview window at the top right, and all your tools and effects are neatly organized on the left. This means you can actually focus on editing instead of trying to figure out where everything is. But OpenShot isn't perfect. If you're running it on a slower computer, you might experience some performance issues. This can get pretty frustrating, especially when you're trying to preview your edits or export your final video. If you've got a decent computer with at least eight gigabytes of RAM, you should be totally fine. And considering this is completely free software that gives you professional features, a bit of lag is a small price to pay when you're just getting started. One quick tip is to make sure to save your work frequently. Like any editing software, it's better to be safe than sorry. Also, it doesn't matter if you're on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, or even Chrome OS. OpenShot works on all of them. That's actually quite rare for free editing software. Plus, they're constantly updating it with new features and improvements. Coming in at number four is Shotcut, and this is actually really interesting because it's been around since 2004, but most people have never heard of it. Let me break down why Shotcut stands out. First of all, unlike OpenShot that we just covered, Shotcut is extremely stable and it rarely crashes. Also, the timeline editing is super intuitive. Let me show you an example. Let's say you want to add a simple crossfade between two clips. All you need to do is drag your second clip over the end of the first one, and Shotcut will automatically create a fade transition. No digging through menus and no complicated settings. It just works. Adding music and sound effects is just as easy. Drop your audio onto the timeline, trim it, move it around, and fade it in or out with a quick drag. If you're not adding background music and sound effects to your videos yet, you're missing out big time. When I started paying attention to the audio design in my video, my videos went from looking like this, the top three reasons you should have your own YouTube automation video team, to looking like this. I have made millions of dollars on YouTube at the age of 23. And here's the truth. Unlike what 99% of YouTube gurus tell you, making money on YouTube is actually quite easy, which made my watch time go up by 19% and allowed my channel to grow a lot faster. If you want audio design like this and to boost your watch time, I'll leave a link to Epidemic Sound in the description below. You can even try it for free with their seven day trial. Now Shotcut also comes with powerful built-in video effects, filters, and blending modes. The color correction tools are actually impressive for a free software. You can adjust everything from basic contrast and saturation 
to advance color grading that gives your footage that cinematic look. These effects aren't just basic filters. You've got professional features like chroma key for green screen, advanced audio filters for cleaning up your sound, and even motion tracking. And unlike other free editors, you don't need to install any extra plugins to access these features. They're all built right in. When you first open Shotcut, the interface might look a bit basic, but don't let that fool you. The simple layout actually makes it much easier to learn compared to more complicated editors. Within an hour, you'll know exactly where everything is and how to use it. Just like OpenShot, Shotcut works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. But what really sets it apart is how well it handles different file formats. You can throw pretty much any video file at it. All right, coming in at number three, we've got VSDC. And this one is specifically for Windows users. Now, VSDC is what we call a non-linear video editor, which basically means it's similar to expensive programs like Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro. First released in 2011, they've actually made some massive improvements to their interface. But what really sets VSDC apart is how feature-packed it is for free software. When you first launch VSDC, you'll notice it's more than just a video editor. You've got options for blank projects, creating slideshows, importing content, video capture, and even screen recording. This is perfect if you're making tutorials or gameplay videos, because you can record and edit everything in one program. The export quality goes all the way up to 8K, and unlike other free editors, VSDC doesn't compress your footage to death. Your videos come out looking crisp and professional, but there is a slight learning curve here. It's not as plug and play as some of the other options we've covered, but VSDC actually has a really good how-to section on their website that could help you get started. Coming in at number two is Caden Life, and this editor has actually stepped up its game big time in the last few years. It's completely open source, which means it's not just free, it's constantly being improved by developers around the world. Let me show you why Kden Live is so powerful. First of all, the moldy track editing is absolutely fantastic. You can have as many video and audio tracks as you want, and unlike other free editors, Kden Live doesn't start lagging when you add more tracks. The interface is fully customizable. You can arrange everything exactly how you want it. If you're coming from Premiere Pro or Final Cut, you can actually set it up to match their layouts. The effects and transitions in Caden Live are actually professional grade. We're talking about proper color grading tools and transitions that don't look like they're from 2010. Caden Live also recently added support for the new M series Apple chips. Whether you're on Windows, older Intel based Macs, or the newest MacBooks, Caden Live will run smoothly. Now, in the number one spot, we've got DaVinci Resolve, and trust me, this is absolutely insane. We're talking about professional editing software that's actually used in Hollywood productions, and somehow it's completely free. DaVinci Resolve isn't just a video editor, it's like four tools in one. You've got the editor, plus Fusion for motion graphics, Fairlight for pro audio editing, and one of the best color grading systems around. But here's what makes DaVinci Resolve really special. It's known for its stability, especially on newer computers. Now you might wonder why that's such a big deal. Well, a lot of other software can crash quite often. The free version gives you everything you need to create professional videos. We're talking about 4K exports, support for pretty much any file format you throw at it, and zero watermarks. And when I say professional, I mean it. The same tools that Hollywood studios use to edit million dollar movies are available to you, completely free. DaVinci Resolve has a steeper learning curve than the other editors we've covered, but you don't need to learn everything at once. You can start with basic editing and explore more features as you grow and learn. If you do want to upgrade later, their paid studio version unlocks even more features. But trust me, the free version is more than enough for 99% of you guys. If you're just getting started, OpenShot or Shotcut will give you everything you need without overwhelming you. If you're on Windows and want something more advanced, VSDC is a fantastic option. Caden Live is perfect if you want that premium editing experience without the premium price tag. But if you want to future-proof your editing skills, I highly recommend going straight to DaVinci Resolve. Yes, it might take a bit longer to learn, but trust me, it's worth it. It offers everything you'll ever need, and it's completely free. And if you're serious about making your videos sound as good as they look, I highly recommend checking out Epidemic Sound. With the link in the description below, you can actually try it for free with their seven-day trial. 